up, Xandra fans? It's Xandra, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own envelope for the card that we made yesterday. So, if you have not made this, you can check it up, check it out, not check it up, check it out up here, and make that before you make this envelope. So, a recap of what this is, it's just a very foldable card. We have Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Ravenclaw. And Gryffindor. And there's a message inside. I did make two of these. One for the video and one before the video. Just testing things out. So this card just says Mr. H. Potter. The cupboard under the stairs. For Perfect Drive. Little Winging Surrey. And I actually made it an envelope that you can actually put things in. And there is a little kind of a crest on there. I was just experimenting, just seeing what I could make it into at the end. So it will be different in the actual video. Just note that. Now there's something I need to tell you guys. It's very important. And I just need to tell you guys this. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and click the bell for all notifications when I post new videos. <laughs> That's getting old, isn't it? A little bit, okay. <laughs> I did do that in my last crafting video as well. Making you guys think there's this big thing going on, but now I just want you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and click the bell for all notifications when I post new videos. So now we can get into the video. You will see me time lapsing, and I will do a voiceover so that you can hear what's going on. Now we're in voiceover. So you'll see that I have a green metallic marker and I'm going to be folding the paper, fold up one bigger side and fold down the smaller side so that you have an envelope looking shape. You're going to need some tape. You're going to put on little, little pieces of tape on each side. You can see what I'm doing kind of in the video. Um, and there is, there's a good shot right there of what you do. You just put it on one side and you fold it over to the other side. I used about six pieces of tape that were really small and I would try with your craft that you're putting in it to see if it works for you. I, t I used a phone and I looked up uh, the Harry's letter from Hogwarts if you want to do that yourself. And I kind of use it as my uh, example for what I was doing. So I made it look a bit similar. And I really do like how it came out with the green metallic marker because it does look like uh what i would imagine it to be in the books and what it looked like in the movies i took a hogwarts sticky note and i put it on there and taped it but there is another option so this is the other option you can pick up these little hogwarts stamps at walmart and they work super duper awesome for your uh hogwarts letter so i hope you guys all had fun with this if you don't have a metallic green marker you can just use a green marker, but it should be green. And I hope you all have an awesome day and don't let the muggles get in your way.